Greetings, I am Herbert Erpadert, and as you may have guessed by the title of this video, we're going to have a look at the entries in our most recent group build which has just ended. A new group build has of course already started, but we'll talk about that at the end of the video. The subject for that now finished group build was the Derptopian Army, which, put shortly, is a model painted or even modified to fit with the Derptopian Army, which is something that came from my city's Skylines gameplay videos, in which my city was named Derptopia 2. Obviously such a city is going to need an army, and since it's my city, they need to be tanks that I would choose. That means there should be pinks, purples, reds and silly over the top designs. Before we get into it, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who participated in this group build. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I certainly enjoyed seeing all the progress, and of course the finished results, that were shared. Also I want to say an extra big thank you to Top Bunk Productions, who is the group buildsman on Discord, and has put in a whole bunch of work collecting the images you'll see in this video, and writing some great captions and bits of information. It saved me a good deal of time and I really appreciate that. Now that's out of the way, let's check out the entries. First, Armoured Jerboa's entry, the Crusader Mark D, ERP 105. This speed demon has now been fitted with all the attachments necessary to crusade with greater intensity. Comes with a 105mm gun, leaving just enough room in the turret for half a man. A rear mounted javelin missile system, and a point defence battery consisting of a hull mounted light minigun, 37mm close defence gun, DRP 42, Derptopian produced MG 42, and a 40mm grenade launcher. Also, one mighty spade. This unit is painted in the pink inferno camouflage for maximum effect. The base model is a Battlefront Crusader in 15mm scale. Very smart camo. Definitely approved for Derptopian Army service. Next, Weasel entered this T-34-175. The glorious engineers of Derptopia have taken the limitations of the T-34 chassis in regards to firepower and thrown them out the window with this magnificent feat. This mobile artillery piece will not only strike devastating blows with its 175mm gun, but also performs feats in stealth. If a filthy enemy spy were to find this not at all obviously huge and loud machine at work, the crew would simply fire its turret mounted smoke launchers and the ensuing cloud would totally conceal it. Well, with the obvious exception of the long gun poking out of it. Of course this would result in the spy fleeing in panic to his lines, and reporting that Derptopia has mastered weaponizing clouds. You see, this machine can implement psychological warfare too. This model is probably based on the 135th scale AFV club kit, though it's not clear to me if that's actually the case or not. What a glorious addition this shall be to our magnificent army. Approved. Cartool is next with the Object 246 with a 152mm BL-8 gun. This vehicle is currently undergoing trials for approval of reverse engineering and service in our unparalleled army. It is being extensively tested for its capabilities, firepower, and most importantly, its ability to perform sick jumps. So far, performance in the latter regard has been lacking. Maybe a bigger engine would do it. Further propositions have so far included use of nitrous oxide and application of go faster stripes. Painting derp on the barrel in Russian has been done to aid in Stalin's spirit guiding the shell's shot, as is standard for such vehicles. This model is based on the PST ISU 152-1 in 172nd scale. Limited sick jump capabilities aside, this appears to be a fine beast, and should be able to deal a lot of damage, especially to larger enemies. Approved. James Valentine's entry is this figure. This is political musician Captain Chambers. Chambers, as a political officer of the Musical Corps, is responsible for enhancing the morale of our troops by playing the most epic riffs known to mankind, using her enchanted and amplified war guitar Mark VI. She knows all the greatest hits by heart, including a rendition of the national anthem that will make you cry from how soulful it is. I don't know what this figure is or who makes it, but I do quite like it. I hope she knows how to play King Diamond songs. I suspect she does. Glorious and mighty. Very much approved. War music is important. Alert. Incoming transmission. Unknown hostile craft spotted within Derptopian waters. Awaiting orders on how to respond. Message ends. 
We know not why they attack, or where they come from, but the black-clad force known only as the enemy are always lashing at Dirktopia's borders with their tanks, planes, guns, ships and shooty mans, where our vigilant army keeps guard. The only concrete thing we know about them is their flag. Their markings are similar to this flag. Other than that, even our best monkeys on Morse code machines, I mean intelligence officers, have no idea. Therefore, we just call them the enemy. We've tried giving them other names like weird red comet flag assholes and buzzkillians, but the enemy has stuck with the troops, so we're sticking to it. Now you see why it is imperative that we keep improving and updating our glorious forces. The enemy are persistent. We too must be persistent and do sicker jumps than they. These are 1/300th scale S-boats from Warlord. The enemy, while awesome models in actual fact, are disapproved. The enemy flag and the concept of the enemy is by Top Bunk Productions, and the ships were entered by James Valentine. Duncan Hoover has presented us with this glorious flying machine. An often forgotten yet all important component of the Derptopian Armed Forces are the logistics divisions. This particular cargo plane is part of the air transport service, hauling supplies, provisions and troops everywhere it goes. It's also loved by its pilots, and looks adorable despite its size. I imagine the purple parts of the camouflage help very much when flying through turbulent storms. Why go around when you can go through? Such is the Derptopian way. The model is the Aoshima, if I'm saying that right, TB2 Mini. Air travel is very important. Approved. Eastern Union has supplied this Cromwell 2 105. Not to be outdone by the Crusader Mark D Erp, Derptopian engineers from a rival firm have hurriedly fitted a 105mm gun on the even speedier Cromwell chassis. However, they lack the knowledge their rivals possess on how to fit such a large gun in such a tiny turret. So they've opted for mounting the gun in the hull and replacing the old turret with a much smaller one taken from a Vickers Light Tank Mark VI. This makes for a superb tank destroyer, despite the gun's limited depression and non-existent gun traverse. This particular example is painted in Chinese dragon livery to inspire fear and command respect from all foes that it may face. I believe this vehicle should be able to perform some pretty sick jumps. It could perhaps even fire its main weapon while performing said jumps. Further testing is in order. This model is the 176 scale Cromwell by Airfix. We will need vehicles with mighty guns and low profiles. Approved. Roger Weston has supplied us with some new air power. The aptly named Wooden Wonder has been a welcome addition to our noble air force, especially with pilots and crew that like to show off. This particular pilot has wisely painted Watch Out on the wings of his aircraft, so that the pilots above him don't accidentally fly into him as a result of the stunningly effective camouflage of plain green. We are always one step ahead. Derptopia, the nation with many times the brain power of all other nation. Always one step ahead. Always. This model is a Ravel 148th scale Mosquito Mark IV. Enemies and friendlies alike had better watch out. Approval has been granted. Another entry from Roger Weston. This time a glorious Panther A, the Golden Ace. Out of all the Panther tanks serving in all of the Derptopian armoured divisions, none are more renowned than the one owned by the best tank ace of the 1st Elite Armoured Battalion. It has blinded enemies with its shimmering golden paint job and blasted them into pulp with the most expensive rounds in the army. They're not any more effective than standard rounds, they're just painted gold and tipped with a ruby. Why? Because that's what makes this ace roll, and that's what makes him win every engagement he's ever been sent into. It's unclear to me who makes this model, but we do know that it's a 172nd scale Panther A. None can withstand the glorious blinding sheen of the Golden Panther. The expense is great, but you must spend money to crush the enemy. Approved. Roger Weston sure was busy. Here's another addition to our glorious forces that he supplied. The M2 Freedom Maker. This 40mm armed mainstay of the Derptopian Scout Battalions serves Derptopia well, due in no small part to the chrome-plated super resilient armour of its lower hull, and an engine which is rumoured to be powered by the sheer force of liberty itself. 
It makes the Derptopian commissars feel uneasy every time they inspect the machines, but as long as they don't turn on us, we will let the crews enact democracy, whatever the hell that is, on Derptopia's foes. Let them do their democro whatever it is, as long as they fight and die for the glory of Derptopia, they may have their hobbies. This entry is based on an unknown M2 Bradley kit, and it looks like it might be able to get some good air. Approved. Dreadnought Luma has provided Derptopia with an additional Panther A, though a less costly, less golden variant. This Panther has been lathered in a shell-resistant paint, thick enough to shrug off most light to medium anti-tank weapons. However, this has consequently led to a lack of fucks given by the crew when approaching enemy positions and units. They even go so far as to ram them with their strengthened panzer before the final drive ultimately fails. This is most interesting, and must be considered for future development of both armour and field tactics. This model is the Airfix Panther in 176 scale. Ramming is very much a proud tradition in the Derptopian armed forces. Everybody loves a good ram kill, and everybody feels proud to be awarded the ram kill medal. It is glorious after all. This unit has been approved. Top Bunk Productions has supplied us with this Hetzer 105D, painted in a glorious Derptopian camo scheme. The one vehicle just as numerous and legendary as the KV-2 in the Derptopian army is the ubiquitous Derp Hetzer, renowned for its ability to hetz its victims with its 105mm howitzer. This particular Hetzer crew has applied pink octopus camo, possibly imbuing the spirit of carnivals to carry them through the fight. This model is in 172nd scale and made by Italeri, though it is apparently a reboxed Esky kit. Is it Esky or do you say ESCI? Who knows? Well, somebody. Anyway, the great tradition of Hetzing is very important to the Derptopian army. Our crews and their machines can Hetz the best, and nobody can piss on them. Nobody. Maximum Hetzing approved and encouraged. Alert. Incoming transmission. PT Port 420 Tingler engaging enemy craft. S boats retreated, but one more boat has entered battle. Outcome uncertain. Message ends. Top Bunk has also entered this coastal patrol boat. Derptopia's waters are always safe thanks to the ever vigilant Coastal Defense Force, proudly flying the nation's flag on their masts and supporting their iconic light blue and purple disruptive camouflage. They actively seek out threats to our shores daily and, with four torpedoes on each boat, can intercept and destroy any vessel. For those cocky enemies that like it up close and personal, the twin 50 cal mount can riddle a boat so full of leaky holes that a Swiss cheese would look positively buoyant by comparison. This mighty vessel is the Warlord Vospa in 1/300th scale. It looks quite smart in its sensible camo. Also, I enjoy the name. And this one even has the funny drugs number on its side. A mighty coastal defense unit. Something we definitely need. Approved. Also by Top Bunk is this despicable enemy PT boat. Naturally, the enemy have decided to try and capture Derptopia's glorious success for their own by shamelessly copying our PT boat, only it's clearly inferior in every aspect. For starters, two weapon mounts is just absurd, as they therefore have less room for ammunition. Speaking of, it only has two torpedoes rather than our glorious designs four. Yes, they are bigger torpedoes, but ours have smiley faces on them. Also, isn't that black on black colour scheme just dreadful? It's like they don't know who they're fighting. This inferior, though actually quite nice, enemy boat is another 300th scale Warlord Vospa. Why can't they just come up with their own designs? As always, enemy is not approved. Wilbur has entered with this very sensible M4A Derp Quacken. These are Shermans downsized to such a degree that they're able to rocket along at tremendous speeds comparable to that of a flying duck. Their striking yellow coat, painted derpy eyes and orange bill gun will be the last thing their foes will ever see. The last thing they'd hear would be the horn modified to quack instead of beep. Let's be grateful they're our friends. This model is the Meng World War II's Sherman. It's sure good to have such ducky friends. 
You might not think bright yellow camo to be a good idea, however, when enemy sees tank painted as dark, they'll be confused thinking it's just nature, just dark. This is a fatal mistake. It is the ultimate surprise. Approved. Sneaky Zaku is responsible for this excellent entry, the small bot Mark III. The Squad Mobile Observation and Lockpick Bot Mark III is the latest technology offered from Derptopia's brand new cyber warfare department. While Derptopia's tank industry clings to retrofitting older tank designs with modern tech, its infantry has these small AI masters of the information war accompanying them. They waddle with their squads and are called upon to hack computers of all kinds, open doors, and even perform menial labour tasks. Their stubby design belies their leg strength for dragging things across the battlefield, be it vital machines or even wounded soldiers. The small bot is always a welcome sight for the Derptopian infantry, no matter how dire the circumstance. This model is from Gaidron Miniatures, did I say that right? Though apparently this is not available for purchase, which I'm kind of disappointed by. That is unless I misread. Either way, I like it. I think it's very cute. That and the fact that it comes in a very nice shade of pink made it very easy to approve. Slyberian has made this contribution of an F-16C to our mighty air force. The fast and dangerous FAD wing is manned by the cream of the crop of the Derptopian Air Force, having first priority when it comes to receiving brand new and or advanced equipment. This fighter ace has adorned his jet with the logo of his favourite energy drink, and is thus known as the Monster, even though he's actually a really nice bloke. This model is an unknown F-16C kit in 144th scale. Normally, product placement is frowned upon in the Derptopian Defence Forces, but this pilot is so good at plane that special approval has been given. Ratto's entry is this infantry woman, Special Operative Services. This cunning trooper has taken the identity of a barmaid in order to infiltrate enemy lines and reach otherwise inaccessible vital areas of fortresses and supply lines, before lighting them up in a blaze of rapid-fire bursts. No, we have no idea how she's able to sprint and manoeuvre rapidly with high heels, but hot damn does it look really cool. The only information I have is that this is a barmaid figure. She's pretty good. I especially like the purple bow around her waist. Most certainly approved. KSI Agent Texas has provided us with this glorious super purging. This purple slabbed behemoth has proven almost as formidable a machine as our KV-2s with all that additional armour on. Plus, all the resulting pockets and crevices in the turret armour can store all sorts, including an entire picnic set. Deadly and practical. This model is the Flames of War 15mm scale Pershing or Super Pershing kit. This vehicle is quite super, it even says so right in the name. And with its secret storage pockets promising picnics, the Derptopian army was quite happy to approve such a good tank. The final entry is Spaceman 24-7's PMD robot. The political motivation and disciplinary robot enforces the status quo and general harmony everywhere in Derptopia from army bases to cities, government buildings, and even public toilets. It is always there to watch over the people with its high-definition camera, and remind them to praise the nation every two hours, specifically at the 45th minute, or risk a warning shock of 120 volts. Continued descent after that point activates a beacon for Derptopian political officers to follow so they can give the descenter a free ticket to the Gulag Correctional Facility. This model is scratch built, which is pretty cool. It's nice to see people making their own stuff, as much as I love kits. This little robot will fill an important role in Derptopian society. It will save many man hours and several dollars in wages. Most definitely approved. And that's all. Once again, thanks to everyone who took part in this group build. The next group build has already begun. The topic is the Cold War, which is quite a long stretch of time, and I'm sure you can easily find something suitable to build. To quote part of the pinned message in the Discord channel, any vehicle, unit, weapon, and famous or infamous person that participated in either the confrontation between the Western powers and the Eastern Bloc, or the aforementioned proxy wars and excursions can be entered for the build. 
The allowed time frame ranges from 1946, the outbreak of the Greek Civil War, to 1991, the collapse and dissolution of the Soviet Union. This group build started a couple of days ago and will end on the 6th of April. That's this year, 2019, obviously. So that gives you plenty of time to pick a model and start building. You can submit any amount of entries you like. If you need or want any further information, or you have any questions or maybe you just want to show off your progress, the place to do that is on my Discord server, the link for which is in the description below. So why not come along and join the fun? I mean, I won't personally be participating in this group build, but I really do enjoy seeing the progress pictures. Okay, so that's all for this video. Feel free to subscribe and support on Patreon if you want. And of course, I shall return soon. So until then, be excellent to each other and thanks for watching. Farewell.